We're getting ready to go, and that's the 18-year-old rookie, Brian Cantor, just started his career here at the World Finals, and he hasn't bowed to the pressure. Already two qualified rides. He comes in in ninth place tonight, and how's this for a youngster against a veteran? He meets Blueberry Wine. I love this matchup. It's the littlest bull in the whole finals, maybe in all of the PBR, against the littlest bull rider the whole finals, maybe the littlest guy in all of the PBR. This guy is 18 years old and weighs about a buck 15. You know, Blueberry Wine, they may be retiring him here this week. This may be the last time that he bucks, but this is going to be a great matchup. And the thing of it is, is Blueberry Wine has not lost a step. That's what's great about him retiring him here. He, Blueberry Wine's going to be an athlete that gets to retire without backsliding. He bucked off Jake McIntyre in round two, looked as good as ever. How about these for numbers? 93 outs overall, just nine qualified rides on Blueberry Wine, and just two out of his last 26 opponents have made the whistle. And he's unridden for this season, and I love it when a bull's going to go out with maybe his best year ever. The saddest part about it is Blueberry Wine has never won the title of Bucking Bull of the Year. He's been Reserved twice and third one. What a story it would be if this youngster could ride him, but it's not going to happen. His normal right-handed spin and Brian Cantor, good as he's been so far, wasn't going to ride that one. That bull's got a lot more experience than Brian Cantor has, you know. And I, I got to take, you know, you got to take a minute here and take your hat off to maybe one of the greatest bulls of all time. And we've talked about him and talked about him and how little he is, but. You know, I've never seen this bull misfire. I've seen him have all different kinds of trips. Uh, when I rode him, he, he spun both directions and just kept trying the whole way. What a great career that bull has had.